Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and is Parrot OS the Kali Linux replacement for Raspberry Pi? I'm going to show you guys how to install it and you can check it out for yourself. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing you want to do is navigate over to parrotsec.org and I'll leave all the links in the description below. Now this site isn't as fancy as Kali Linux, but hey, the site works. Now navigate over to download and scroll down to the bottom until you see Raspberry Pi. Now you're going to have to select the server that is closest to you. For me it's the US so after selecting that hit download. Now I've already downloaded this so I'm just going to walk through the motion but I'm going to cancel this download right now. Now I've opted out from using Win this Imager 32 and now I'm using actually something called Etcher. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It's etcher.io. It's actually a much better program than using Win32 Disk Imager. Navigate over to your image. And what's cool about this is it actually allows you to just insert a zip so you could, it doesn't need, you don't need to extract it. It extracts it for you. Now, as you're flashing this, it's also going to do a check and then return with the checksum. So you could actually check against if the file copied over correctly and all. So I've been using this program not too long ago and TechWiz Time was the one who introduced me to this and it's it's really good program. All right, after this is done copying over, insert into your Raspberry Pi for the first boot. Now you're gonna notice as soon as it boots, it's gonna be stuck at a screen with the flashing cursor. It's gonna be stuck like that until you do the this next step. Now hit Control Alt F1 to get the prompt and then the username and password is Parrot parrot. Now I have to edit something to fix my overscan issue so I'm gonna go navigate over to nano boot uh, command no sorry config.txt and add a line to disable it so it's disable underscore overscan equals one. When I'm done with that next step we have to do is basically expand our file system that's why you can't boot. So we're gonna do this with uh, sudo raspi config and then the first option is to expand your file system. Hit OK, and you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to reboot. So next time you reboot, it's gonna be able to boot right into the operating system itself or the GUI. So here it's parent, parent, and then hit login, and you're gonna be presented with mate. Thank God it's not using Genome or Genome or however you want to say it because I hate that freaking GUI desktop environment that Kali ships with. So Mate is a much user friendly system and I could actually use this as a desktop itself. Now the first thing you want to do uh, is change your password here. So I logged into uh, root so sudo su and then passwd so you can change your root password. Um, it actually doesn't have one by default so this is the first step you need to do. Next is I just went ahead and did a sudo apt-get update just to update the operating system. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, how the tools look. Basically it's going to have its own submenu called Parrot and it basically looks almost identical to um, Kali Linux. Like I said, Kali Linux has probably a little bit more tools. What differs Parrot from Kali is that it's based on anonymity, if I'm saying that correctly. So here you can actually just hit Anon Start and it'll basically throw you into a Tor network. So the whole system will be behind the Tor network itself as soon as you um, start this app. Now, as soon as it starts, it's gonna ask you for your root password. That's why we had to change it from before. So type in your root password and it's gonna do everything it needs to to set the system up. So now that it connected over to um, the Tor network, I'm gonna show you uh, what it really did. It basically gave you a new IP that nobody would know or something like that. So I opened up Firefox and here there is actually some sort of profile manager that you could uh, play around with. I'm just gonna use a default profile. As soon as it starts, since this is my first time, it's gonna see if I got any bookmarks and stuff like that. Now it's gonna throw you right into a Parrot start page. And from there, you're gonna be able to see that if you're using your own IP or the Tor network. Now to disable this, all you have to do is go back to applications and um, hit and on stop. And that will basically get you out of the Tor network so you could go back onto CleanNet. Anyway, um, I do enjoy using this operating system. 
um, this is Mate, which is a better desktop, I would say, than Genome. I don't really like Genome itself because it's too sloppy, too graphical. I don't need all that stuff. I just need a basic applications menu. Um, Parrot OS is based around anonymity, if I'm saying that correct again. It allows you to actually use the operating system better um, or more. That's what I feel. So check it out for yourself. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So thanks guys for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this video, hit it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button so you get notifications on the next video when it's going to be out. And if you want to watch my previous video, hit the link to the right. And if you want to watch what YouTube tells you to watch, hit the link to the left. And if you hit that little circle in the middle, it will subscribe to my channel. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.